Hello and welcome back to Utbe Laron. It is now early July and it is harvest time. Our canola is ready, our grass is ready to be cut. Now since we uh, picked up a collectible last time out, I thought we'd treat ourselves this time. And uh, we've, we've got a good sized uh, harvester on lease. And uh, hopefully it's going to be delivered, although by the looks of it, they are having issues. Hopefully they'll get here. We'll give them a few minutes. Uh, while we're waiting for them, we'll uh, hook up our Massey to the uh, trailer. And uh, yeah, if not, I'll have to go over and have a word. They might have got lost. They're having trouble with the GPS and they can't find the farm. So we'll go over. We'll sort that out. So we got that all attached. Hopefully, they're sorted now. If not, it's a big thank you to Giants and their shit AI for ruining what was supposed to be an epic intro. Here it comes. <laughs> You're late. You were supposed to turn up as I was attaching. Never mind. So, <laughs> this is what I've ordered. This is what we're going to use for our harvest. We've got ourselves a John Deere S560 2014 edition. Uh, along with it, we've got the uh, 630X header. Put it over on the trailer. Ah, uh, I'd really thought about that as well. <laughs> oh dear, bloody giants. Make me look shit. Okay. So, I don't know what I've got in there for, I'm all a fluster. As always happens, when it goes wrong, you get a fluster. So we'll detach that, hopefully we can get the uh, John Deere in there. But, let's have a little look on the inside of this. This is a nice mod. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Now, I shall... Uh, Try and remember to put a description uh, link down in the description for this. This comes as a, a series pack of uh, harvesters, so we're going to try take this off here. How cool would it have been though if, as I was talking, it just pulled up around like it was supposed to? All right, that's up and on. Try and back it out without taking out the uh, shed. I don't want to bring the trailer with us. I'll tell you what, I hate them header trailers. I absolutely hate all of them. None of them behave as you want them to. <laughs> well, we've flung it out of the way so it shouldn't be a problem now. We're going to be doing a big old canola today, a big canola. It's going to be fun. We're going to make money, hopefully, which is <laughs> always fun. Always fun to make some money. Now, what I am going to do is we're going to start on this side, and I will have to harvest a headland in at the bottom because we do go really close to the fence, and uh, I'm not going to be able to. Uh, sort of turn around down the bottom there probably without cutting into everything and uh, ruining my crops now we need to make sure this is all connected properly there we are and, oh jumped in again and uh, we will need to go and check around the other side because some of these you have two some of them don't nope that one's fine Sure, on 19 we had some that required both sides, or perhaps the uh, the hose connected on one side and the PTO on another. But anywho, we're ready to start the harvest. Well, that sounds loud to me. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, drown me out too much. If it does, <laughs> I'll reload the save and I'll improve that intro. <laughs> underway. Now I think we have uh, just 
do have 10,000 litre capacity on here as well. It has cost us a lot of money. Um, we were at 131 when we woke up this morning, down to 117, so we're paying premium leasing for this. But I thought we've got a bit of money, we can use the small stuff. I did say I wouldn't mind buying a harvester this year, but I think realistically our farm isn't that big. We don't need to own a harvester, and if we did, we wouldn't be able to buy one this big. And this is the sort of size I'd want to be looking at for a harvester. I think this was it's a pretty good price. This is an older model, but I still can't afford to drop uh, 200 grand on a harvester, and then harvester and head are probably about 250 grand. We had a trailer, it's expensive. I thought this looked like a beauty, and uh, I know that people like to see a bit of John Deere, and we've been going with Rostel mashers, and what else have we had? Um, Class Dominator, we've had that here as well. So I guess it was, it was really time for the John Deere's to start turning up. detail on this is absolutely brilliant, that's why I wanted to show it off. And there are so many configurations with this as well, and uh, I would have spent so long fiddling around trying to show you them all, so that's why I thought I'd do it all first. And uh, like I say, I'll put a link down and you guys can uh, go get this and check this out yourselves. So I'm never sure whether they're in the uh, mod hub or whether I find them elsewhere these days. So I'll check. If it's in the hub, then there might not be a link down there. I've probably got this going. Up. And uh, I did have a little thing in the month that I've been away. And I might try and uh, cycle this field really quick. I want to try and turn this round and get some barley or wheat in it. And then we'll uh, try and get our grass cut at the same time. We'll get some workers in, get this field done, get our grass cut, and then by the time that's done, these two fields should be ready to harvest. Once we've got them in, we might then put wheat or barley in again, one of those, or in then once they're combined. And then next year, we have a wheat and a barley to harvest. And then I'll just plant one of them again um, with wheat or barley, and then the next one we'll save round for the following year and uh, put soybeans or canola or something different in it. I think that's going to give us the most harvests in this short space of time, and it's going to make sure we've got plenty of feed for chickens because, as well as getting more sheep on the farm, I would like to get a nice big chicken. We had a little different chime this time, we had a do 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 so let us know we were at 50%. Now there is every chance that we get a lot of this, that, that hasn't quite grown yet. Is that weed, grass, it's grass, it's, it's alright, I was like, there's a little bit of stuff that hadn't grown. It's not. It's probably where I've sown. Yeah. Pop from that field in there. <laughs> so hopefully now we've got green to turn around. We can approach this a little bit more orthodox. I don't like to loop around a lot. It's not very realistic. I don't think, not unless you've got a round field, which uh, I've seen on uh, some of the maps that I've uh, been maybe looking at but not sort of showcasing. For no reason, there's not, not, not that I don't like them or whatever, but they sometimes I've just looked at it and then maybe I feel that they're a bit too big for me to uh, attempt all the time. Um, but yeah. The, the American and South American maps quite often have a complete circular field, which 
pictures and stuff that I'm not overly familiar with. So maybe we'll have a little look at one of them in a map tour in the upcoming future, or maybe it will come out before this if I do decide to do one. So if we did do one, weren't that a cool feature? Inception. This is uh, a nice looking harvester. Let's show it some love. Let's get some shots. Now, I'm not sure whether we'll uh, put this in a thumbnail, though. We might have to try and find something else to do to, to get the thumbnail. But I'll try and keep it a surprise. Although a John Deere harvester in a thumbnail does tend to boost the old click-through rate. Can't lie about that. Now, just so we have got our pipe on the outside, we're not going to loop, but I am going to drive around to the other side. Now, with the straw harvest, or, yeah, straw harvest, chop straw. Chop straw. I'm not sure that with a canola, if that will give us the fertilised state, because it's not really chopping the straw, though we do get that, you know, the chopped waste come out. I'm not sure if that is actually fertilising, so uh, when we uh, unload, I will take a little look at that and see if uh, that's given us a little fertilised state as well. It'll be interesting to know. John Deere at its, its best angles. 92%. Living the dream. I don't think you bailer on Mr. Farquhar has changed his clothes since he arrived. We've always been uh, kitted out black jeans, black hoodie, black hat. Generally, that's how Mr. Farquhar in real life is uh, kitted out. Right, let's go jump in our uh, Massey. And we'll see if we can't get this under the pipe the first time, because I do tend to fluff that off a lot. Let's see if it should be easy. Drive over in the middle. There we are. I guess sometimes we have a, a short or a low pipe, so I don't always get it best. Yeah, plenty of clearance on that one. I don't know why it didn't want to start for me, being temperamental. Right. Let's get the rest of this in. So while we're unloading, I just want to check some of the states on this field. 
So, obviously we know that one. It is fertilizing it. So perhaps that's what that's why we got the streaks before, because of whatever it was, um, gave us uh, chopped straw. So we don't need to plow this. We do have them annoying stones in the middle though. We might quickly run over that with our um, stone picker. Or we might not, we'll see, I hate it. And obviously we're gonna mulch it afterwards. Yeah, okay. It's got me thinking anyway. <laughs> Appreciate all that is vacant It's just for the taking If you make up your mind you can take it I'm never complacent I would work in a mansion or basement Yeah, there's no replacement For persistence, it's a patience Yeah, in this life I wanna be soaring To feel sun inside when it's pouring And I'll fight till anxiety is boring I'm so sick of my mind's extortion My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life Now something else that I've also been thinking is that since canola is probably going to feature quite regularly in either one of these two fields uh, once that one is combined it might be worthwhile getting some beet oh, I knew I'd miss a bit if I start talking it might be worthwhile getting some beets set up and that would also make good use of that sort of plot of land over there by the trees. We can get some beehives in there. Uh, I think I mean, there'll be room to get maybe a couple of them in, of a decent size. Um, get one of the larger uh, honey spawn and pallet areas. Just leave that to tick over by itself. Um, they produce honey whether they're an extra canola field or not does help. I think it helps either the honey yield or the cannoli yield if there are bees nearby. Like I said, make use of that spot there. Because although next time round we're putting barley and wheat in, afterwards we can put canola back in and that could be like a crop that we do regularly here in one of these two. So that might be something we do going forward and then there's something else that's passively going to be ticking over and we can load up and sell that as and when. That's what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments what you think about that idea and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get that sorted probably next year. It seems like a while off but I don't intend on fannying about in between <laughs> quite so much on this series anymore. I'm going to be uh, probably ticking through these a lot quicker than before. This has been an absolute beast. Again, I hope this doesn't drown me out too much as I get closer to it. But this has been a great harvester, great model. I see no fault in it. Attention to detail on this is brilliant. And you knew it was going to take, or you knew it was going to be well detailed because it took just a second to load in. To, or just a second longer to load into uh, the store page than uh, all the other models do so you knew there was something special coming in so let's jump over into Massey we'll get that unloaded now when we harvest the other two fields I probably won't be feeling quite so flushed that we get something as big and as nice as that um, it might be back to the Rostal Mash or a Dominator or something, something in that region. There's a nice, uh, is that New Holland C5 that uh, that I always associate with uh, FS15. So uh, we might even get that next time. It's a bit smaller, but it'll it'll definitely do the job that we're going to want it to do.
when they get those uh, canola bits on the front. I don't know what those bits are called. It tells you in the store sometimes, but I forget. But yeah, when they're on there, they're always like such a beast. Is that a harvester rolling, or is that my eyes? Anyway, let's just check if it's worth selling this, or if we should store it. So, canola at the minute. Uh, always at the train thing, it's always worth much more. Um, at the farmer's market, 1,415 per thousand. But if we look at space fluctuation, in November, worth nearly double that. So we're literally at its cheapest. It's only now going up. So we're going to store this. They come winter, we'll just need to remember to <laughs> sell it. I'm sure we will. If someone watching can uh, remind me as we approach winter that we've got canola in storage, that would be great. There's no point in selling it now if we can get another, what, six, eight hundred pounds per thousand litres and we've got however much we had. I didn't check how much we had. Nearly 30,000 litres. So it makes a big difference. So we'll sort the uh, harvester out. We'll get that sent back. Somehow, hopefully. So someone from the store has come to uh, collect the John Deere. They made a right hash of it. They hit the silo. What a twat. Anyway, that's gone. <laughs> what a nightmare. As you can tell by the time this elapsed at the top there, if you want to scroll back in the video and see when we started that sequence as to when that just went off. <laughs> it's been an absolute nightmare. Anyway, I'm going to jump into Renault. And uh, I'm going to get stuck into a mulch in this. This is what we're going to do next. A bit of mulching. Uh, this one does not take long, if I remember rightly. Everything's kitted up and ready to go. Just going to do the grass. Now, I had a little look, and our grass meadow isn't ready to harvest, so I must have accidentally reactivated the uh, cut grass at any time thing. So, yeah, that's not quite ready. It's probably got another month or two yet. I thought that was a little bit early. But we had sort of slept for a month. So uh, it wasn't out of the realms of possibility that the uh, farm and simulator grass grows that quickly. It has done before. I just want you to be somebody to be. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I think this, since this is probably going to be my last job of the day, I'll get this finished off screen. Uh, it's only a bit of mulching. And then next time around, we'll be looking to see if we can get our barley sewn in. I think barley goes in earlier than wheat. Not 100% on that, but I think it does. And uh, yeah, so uh, we may even look to switch up the cedar if we can. Uh, we'll see what we can do financially with that. If not, we use the same one again this year and we'll maybe change that next year. But that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, you liked the John Deere as, as much as I did, if not more, probably. Because we all know how I feel about them sort of things. But if you have enjoyed it, please give the video a big fat thumbs up down below. It really does help me out. It helps YouTube to know that you're liking this content and others like you and like me will enjoy this. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. We've got so much going on on the channel now, there's a little bit of something for everyone. Comments and feedback down there. Um, what do you think about the idea for bees? And if you wish for me to get any more collectibles, collectible locations, 
that sort of thing. Um, yeah, general chit chat, you know the business. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>